to be as good as it's gonna get, folks. So I have got little Lorelai here, swaddled up. I've got my iced coffee, I'm trying to get geared up to clean this house. I'm sitting here, I just throw on a little makeup because I decided I wanted to vlog. So I was like, I'm gonna pull myself together because I don't wanna look terrible. <laughs> it's 12.30 Sunday, January 27th. I cannot believe it's still January. Like, I know people keep posting about it, but it literally has felt like the longest month ever. And I don't know why. It's been such a long month. <laughs> because when I think about like, all the orders I've done and stuff, I don't feel like, I feel like it's been a lot longer. It's just been crazy busy for me with school and with my shop. If you saw, she's wrapped up in this little burgundy swaddle. It's so cute. I never got a chance to thank two of you guys for sure. I know I have got a couple more gifts off my registry since I've had Lorelai and I was looking for the thank you notes and I can't find them. So let me pull up the name on my Amazon because I like to give verbal thank yous as well as written notes, which I have a lot of thank you notes to send out. I don't remember who sent which one, but I would I got the burgundy copper pearl swaddle and the black copper copper pearl swaddle. And I love the copper pearl swaddles. They're amazing gifts. They're such good quality. They are multi-purpose, so you don't just have to use them when you're swaddling them, but they're the best to swaddle. I highly recommend if you are having a baby to purchase one for the hospital, especially getting the set so if you get the hat and the swaddle to match they just look like a baby burrito it's precious but of course I'm gonna talk about this when I do my necessary for newborn video but anyways totally rambling now but Ashley McGuire and Madison y'all wrote the sweetest notes in your little thank you cards I saved all of these from all of you guys they are just so sweet and it's just so sweet. Thank you guys so much for the swaddles. Um, also, I wanted to thank Dana Rodriguez. I have got, this is not in the, is in the other room. I'll have to show you guys eventually. It's something I put on my registry that I had seen on like Facebook, a Facebook ad. It's like this elephant and you put batteries in it and it does like peekaboo and hide and seek and stuff. It's freaking adorable. Um, Dana, I could not find your card. I said it, or the little thank you note. I said it somewhere, but thank you so much for that. It is adorable. So thank you guys so much again for all the sweet gifts. I've had those for a while now and I just haven't been vlogging and then I vlogged the other day and I totally forgot, but when I wrapped her up in this one, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to thank you guys. But anyways, I really want to vlog today. I'm you guys so much and I'm gonna try to vlog all day and then I can edit it this week is really busy things have been just freaking nuts like my shop has been insanely busy which is amazing and I love it it just keeps me super busy <laughs> with the thank you next sweatshirts and then when I opened my shop a lot of you guys wanted to purchase the coffee crew and the hallmark one that um you guys might have seen when meg chabella she uh on her vlog channel levita to meg she mentioned the sweatshirts and a lot of you guys wanted to pick them up and i had already shut my shop down by then so a lot of you guys were coming back from that and then the thank you next sweatshirt and the you're doing amazing sweetie sweatshirt i also have another sweatshirt that i did um, that kind of, I love like tying things to things that are really popular right now. It just is fun. Like the thank you next and the you're doing amazing. And so, um, I made one for, um, Ariana Grande seven rings song, but I have not shown anybody or launched it or anything that my sister has seen it. I always kind of help her. Sometimes she helps me with the creative side of things. Like that one, I, I asked her if I should do, I asked her the font, which font looked better. I asked her which color, uh, for the design looked better and if it should be glitter not glitter blah 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 that one's really cool i think and i can't wait to launch it i've just been trying to catch up <laughs> and then school has been stupid like one of my classes has so much busy work it is dumb like it is a ton of busy work and my teacher speaks kind of broken english and so his sentences are kind of choppy when he is sending messages and it's just really hard but i have let my house go it's not that that bad but like it's pretty bad i mean it's pretty realistic like my house isn't always clean there's laundry here laundry there there is 
places on the floor that your feet will stick to when you walk over it that's just been since today so it's not like it's been there for weeks but I just really need to take a day and devote to cleaning it so today just kind of felt like that day because it's really pretty outside and I know that sounds kind of weird but it's like you can open up the windows she was finding her sleep she is so tired so that's why I swaddled her up she doesn't love to be swaddled anymore like she used to um, I'll show you guys her she's trying to fall asleep my laundry machine's done and there's a belt right here <laughs> see what I mean there's just stuff everywhere Anyway, she doesn't like to be swaddled like she used to be. Uh, this pimple right here, uh, it's ridiculous. I have a lot of catching up with y'all to do. I'm hoping I can do while I'm cleaning instead of just sitting on the couch. I feel like my teeth have gotten so much whiter. I haven't changed my toothpaste. All I've changed is my toothbrush. I got the Burst Oral Care toothbrush for Christmas. Um, I actually ordered them for myself, Andy, and my sister. <laughs> I got the rose gold one. Khloe Kardashian kept promoting it. it. It's so beautiful, and I, I'm obsessed with how my teeth feel after, but I really feel like my teeth have like gotten a lot wider. I'll show you guys later if y'all are interested, because I. it's funny when I posted an Instagram pic, and a lot of people were messaging me like, what is that? And I'm like, has this not been all over your social media? Because it has been sponsored all over my social media. You good night night sissy girl so mommy can clean also want to catch up with you guys about birth control i got birth control put in thursday so i want to tell you guys about that why i decided that what i did blah 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 how i'm feeling about it so far and then yeah i oh, and some video ideas that i want to do two different things so also we're going to disney in like a month and a half right yeah wait yeah like a month almost two months we're going to disney and i'm so excited <sighs> i have a lot of weight to lose i can ramble here forever but i'm going to stop for now try to get her into the swing or the rock and play or wherever i like to put her in the rock and play because i'll drag it around with me <laughs> and she's pretty happy in it but um i will chat with you guys here shortly all right i got the baby down the kitchen is an absolute disaster <laughs> this whole house a disaster. Let me get my candlestick, you know, my my big candlestick. My office is a freaking disaster. Everything is just a freaking wreck. Hi, Griffin. So I don't even know where to start, honest to God. I could start by switching the laundry over. When I was pregnant, I could not reach across here to get to them very easily, so they all live down here for right now. I got this thing the other day at Home Goods. It's really big. I mean, it's really heavy because it's like a real piece of wood to hang in the laundry room. Um, I want to hang it right here on this wall and be able to hang like the kids' little jackets because sometimes I keep some of their jackets like over here on top of this bench. And I want them in a place that I can like just hang them and make it cute because I don't have like a mud room, like an official mud room with like cubbies, which I would love, but I don't. My nails are disgusting. Don't look at them at any point of this video. Thank you so much. Where do I start? So we went shopping yesterday. Yesterday I kind of took a day off and like as far as being in my house, I just left the house. Went to the grand opening of the Painted Tree in Little Rock. They have like five, they have some in Dallas and some in Memphis. And they, or I think they just opened one in Memphis yesterday too. It's kind of like an Etsy shop store. A store, it's like a antique store so everybody has their own booth but it's mainly for crafters so it's like people that make shirts people that make candles people that make jewelry there's some boutique booths in there with like clothes that a boutique would sell there's woodwork there is 
all kinds of stuff and it's so cool. So we went to that with my parents and then we went to lunch and then I wanted to go to the mall. I just like hadn't been to this one mall in a long time. So I went and got Griffin and Skylie some shoes. I'll show you guys. They're really cute. Hey Griffin, where's your new tennis shoes that we got you yesterday? Well, I want to show them on the camera. Yeah, can I show up? I want to show this one real quick. These are them. I got them at Journeys. Hold on. You can put it on. Put that one on first. I got them from Journeys Kids. They are freaking cute. I want to put that on I love the marble look. All right, come back here. Here, stand back here. They can see you back here. Stand back here. Right back there. Wow. Those are cool, dude. You like them? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, which is a big deal because he's a big boot guy. Hi. Hi, I know. When I go to Disney Boo Boo, I'm going to get you a new collar. The same collar, but a new one because all the Mickeys came off your collar. <laughs> so these are the ones that I got him in case you were interested. I got them from Journey's Kids. Um, but they're the, this one's the Swift Run Eye. Hey, don't play that under here. Go play that over there. They're Madden Girl and they're these little blush tennis shoes that look like this. They are freaking cute. If they had these in my size, I would totally wear them. They're really soft. They're just awesome freaking shoes. I got this at one of those boutiques inside the painted tree. Really, really cute little pullover. It's so soft. Gotta love camo. To Sephora, but that's for a different video I'm gonna do. Or I'm gonna do that in like a in its own video which I'll explain later and it'll make more sense. Um, I went to H&M and I just got this little outfit for Lorelai, it's so cute. Look how cute this little outfit is. I thought it would be really cute for Disney too. And it has little pants that match it and then it came with this little hat. Is that not the cutest little set? And it was like $18, so this would be a cute little gift idea if you had um, you know, somebody that would love this. It's really stretchy too. So I went to Gap, they were having a sale. We went to Gap last weekend to the outlet mall. I got Skylie a few things. I got her this little cardigan. Look how precious it is. It's really sparkly. I don't remember how much this was, but it was really cheap. Everything was like, like this was $10 and then I think it was like 40% off of that maybe. Um, a really cute little cardigan. I got a couple t-shirts. He has worn one of them. One of them had like a, a dump, a, like a front loader truck on it. And then this one with race cars on it. These are like $3. <laughs> really cheap. I got Skyly this little sweatshirt crew neck. It's got the sparkly gap on it. Really soft on the inside. Got her this long sleeve tee. It's just got little horses on it. Really pretty. Just like a little basic tee. And then got her this vest, which was really cute. Andy loved this vest. And they had one for babies too and I thought about getting Lorelai one but I would rather that be for like next winter so I didn't get one just you know but I got one for Skylie I thought it was really really cute these are so nice these puffer vests and that was like stupid cheap too let me see it was $15 and then like 40% off of that like I got all the kids stuff for like I think it was like 40 bucks it was really really cheap and then when I went to Gap yesterday like the main gap that was the gap outlet but when i went to the, the gap in the mall they were there was like nothing left on the sales section and i just like went straight to the sales section uh but i did get these two little rompers for skylie for five dollars for the summertime really cute they just have like these little rolled sleeves this has silver stars on it just little rompers and it's got a zipper down the back so they're like a little on the dressier side you could throw a denim jacket with it um and then this one which has little rose gold pink probably more pink hearts on it i love little rompers they're so easy you can just like throw them on them and then the outfit is like done as far as my sephora purchase goes uh let me tell you guys what i'm doing for that what could i be cleaning while i do that i could fold laundry but that's no fun let's just go to the kitchen where's my candlestick i grabbed that didn't i so for the makeup things we're watching toy story we're actually watching Toy Story 2. We watched Toy Story already. Yeah, there's my candlestick. See, I need to clean this. This stuff is pretty messy. And I need to change my 
month at a glance board. I it's like my our family hub board. I put like when I have weddings, um, when bills are due, like kids things. I had all my doctor's appointments on there, but that was from December. So I look really pale. I am pale, but this light is blinding me. So for the makeup stuff goes, so I've in the last like few days, I've been planning to do this, but I've just really started acting on it because I have a big wedding coming up this weekend. So like my makeup job, I don't know how else to word it, like my season, I don't know. My maternity leave from doing makeup is pretty much at an end. I did do makeup, what did I do makeup for? Mm. The inaugural wall. That was like last week or two weeks ago. Fine. Hello. Hey. Hey. We doing? Trying to clean the house. Um, what do you want to do? Clean the house, really. Really? All right, you guys, sorry. Andy can talk forever sometimes. Uh, so I can't sit that camera down. I'm just gonna stand there and talk to it. So sorry if you guys are like annoyed by the movement. I know that can be really annoying. This might be a bad idea. I don't want to make you guys like motion sickness while I'm trying to talk. Oh, my floor is sticky right here. Griffin spilled a Dr. Pepper, I'm pretty sure. Can you hear my feet? So about the makeup. So I do makeup. I'm a makeup artist. I started doing it in 2012, the very beginning of 2000, or no, yeah, the very beginning of 2012, January of 2012 was my first wedding. So I've been doing it for seven years now. I love it so much. I have met some amazing people that I still talk to all the time that I get to not only do their wedding, I end up doing their maternity. I do events. So like I was saying, I haven't started back up. I did my last wedding in the beginning of November. I vlogged that I was going to do the last wedding. Um, so I took a break. It took November off because it was very hard on my body to do weddings, to stand there. Oh my God. <laughs> He's calling me again. Hello. Hi. Hey. So anyways, um, we're gonna have Mike over for dinner. And as I've been on my break, I have been taking notes in my phone of products that I need to repurchase, that I was running out of, things that I wanted to add to my kit and whatnot so that I would get them all before the my new season started in spring, blah, blah, blah. Now that I have this wedding, it's <laughs> why am I out of focus? <laughs> I have a wedding this weekend that I added on a few weeks ago. Um, I actually didn't have a wedding this soon yet. I have a lot of like events and stuff. My weddings weren't until March, but I'm really excited because there's a lot of girls in the wedding that I did makeup for their weddings and stuff. So it's exciting to get to see them and hang out with them. And I was like, crap, I need to get stuff for the wedding. So I ordered a bunch of lashes. I'll tell you guys where I like to order my lashes from because they are cheaper. The ones that I like to get, they're about half the price as what I would pay if I went to Ulta or anything like that. And then they always have discounts and stuff. Um, and then I needed to get some products. So I did get one product inside Sephora yesterday. And I was glad I went into the Sephora because like I said, the Sephora I usually go to is inside of JCPenney's and they don't carry a lot of brands like Hourglass and um, what other big brands. <laughs> so I was able to swatch Marc Jacobs, also another brand, swatch a lot of things that I've been wanting to order and really see like what I wanted. So I was really overwhelmed because they were busy. My mom was in there and I know she was getting tired and I was just like looking around and everything. And I only bought one thing for my kit, but then I came home and I ordered some stuff from Sephora. So I have some Sephora stuff coming, some Beautylish lashes, Anastasia, I ordered off their website. I'm so excited for that stuff to come in because I want to sit down and revamp my kit like get out a lot of stuff that over the last year I haven't even touched because it's like unnecessary just really want to condense my palette I want to vlog that like things I'm gonna take out things I'm putting in there things like that if you guys are interested in seeing that so it would be kind of like a haul some things that I purchased what was repurchases and then also what I'm taking out of my kit that I don't reach for what I'm adding to my kit and whatnot so let me know if you're interested in seeing that if not, if you guys like, I don't care what's in your kit and what you take out, just show me what you bought. I'll just do that in a vlog, but I thought it would be fun to do it all in one big video. And then I also am going to do my newborn must haves, hopefully tomorrow, one day this week. It's just gonna be crazy busy, so hopefully this week. Hopefully my Sephora stuff comes in like soon enough to where I don't feel overwhelmed and it's like Friday and it all comes in and then I had that wedding early on Saturday. 
That was boo-boo. Glam Glow sent a little package over. They sent me stuff, and I don't always get to show it, but this was really cute. They sent over the Glam Glow Glow Starter. It's an illuminating moisturizer. I got a little sample of this in a Sephora Play Box, and I loved it. It just has a really, it's kind of like a strobe cream for MAC, if you're familiar with that. Um, it just adds radiance to the skin, and it's really nice. And then they sent the Pout Mud Fuzzy not fuzzy, fizzy lip exfoliating treatment. I love the hydrating treatment or whatever it's called. It's like this, but it's to moisturize, not exfoliate. I love it. I actually have purchased it twice. Um, so I was, I thought this was the moisturizer at first and I was excited because mine's almost out, but I'm excited to try this too, the, moist, the exfoliator. And I need to order another moisturizer. I love that. Ooh, I forgot I got some stuff from Dose of Colors. Like I said, I've been getting stuff for my kit. This was some stuff I really wanted, not only for my kit, but in general. So I'm gonna save this for my kit video. But I will say, just a little, like not teaser, but a little mention. The lip pencils by them, the new lip liners, not pencils, the new lip liners, I ordered, I haven't ordered it yet. It's in my cart on Ulta. I need, I need to make a little Ulta haul, not Ulta haul, but Ulta order. These are freaking awesome. I put a swatch on my hand and it did not come off for anything, like just as far as normal wear and tear, like rubbing against my clothes and stuff, like a lot of lip liners will. So it's definitely long wearing. And the style of these is so cute. They look like old school cigarette holders, if you know what I mean, like where people put cigarettes in these little fancy things. But they look like this. It might be way too hard for it to focus on it. But they are so cool. They look like little bullets and then the little thing comes off and I'm pretty sure that this is it self sharpens but I might be wrong so I got the shade overdrawn and it's the perfect like darker pink um, it's it reminds me a lot of pillow talk just a little darker which is kind of nice for that overdrawn look but I love it love it these I think are $18 which is about right for a high-end lip liner. Really, really pumped about this. I wanna get some more. I'll just show you guys what I got from Dose of Colors. How about that? I just missed you guys so much. I don't even know what I'm doing with myself. I just wanna to talk to y'all. I just posted on Instagram too that I was vlogging today and a lot of you guys were like, yay, I'm so excited. So. That. Don't walk in, don't stay. Stay right there. That was a Bath and Body Works candle that just shattered. Ugh. Hold on, Griffin. Uh -uh. So I anticipated that because I knew what had fallen was a Bath and Body Works candle that was on top of my candlestick holder and I will say because it was in this sleeve all the glass well I stuck the candle part back in there but all the the glass shattered like it fell on its bottom and so it shattered but it shattered into the sleeve so it kind of helped with the cleanup, but I just got a glass. <gasps> Way to go, Lauren. And then I'm going to stop talking for a second and we'll just do a little fast forward of some cleaning because clearly I'm not gonna get anything done if I don't. The coffee is working, but only for the talking, clearly. All it's making me wanna do is talk and not clean. <gasps> you can see how messy my kitchen is. Okay, so the Dose of Colors lip liner there it is on my hand so you can see now that i'm over here it is just so pretty okay then i also got another liquid lipstick these are one of my favorites i have a ton of them in my kit they are pretty long wearing but they're not so long wearing that they really dry out your lips and they're uncomfortable to wear they're one of the most comfortable formulas i personally enjoy wearing them a lot so if i enjoy wearing them then i know that i would love to put them on my clients but i've been wanting this shade for a while because it's really pretty this is the shade mondays it's just a really pretty rosy shade which is very popular when it comes to bridal looks and this type of color on the lips makes teeth look so white so that makes people feel comfortable when i actually put them on them so this is the shade right here the shade mondays it's just beautiful it looks good on deep skin fair skin tan skin then i also got one of these ideal duos i've been wanting one of these for years i just have never got one when they came out with these shortly after they came out with the stila liquid glitter things and 
I kind of got turned off of these because I was like, eh, I'll just get those. But I still really wanted one of these, so I just went ahead and got one. This is the shade Pretty Dust. So the way these work is it comes with a cream on the top. So there's the cream. And then there's a pigment underneath. So then you twist, and then there's a pigment. And then you layer the pigment on top of the cream and it just intensifies the cream. They have these in colors. They have beautiful, beautiful options. And there's like a little mirror in there. So you just got the cream. I don't know, Bubba. So there's the cream alone. Very pretty. And you could always just use the cream. It's just the perfect, it's not too silver. It's not too pink. It's not too gold. It's just like the perfect, in my opinion. Then I'm gonna take some of the pigment, which might be really pretty as a highlighter even. I don't know, I'll have to play with it. So here's the pigment. I'm going to press it on top of the cream. Are you ready? And now look at it. It just intensifies it, sets it, and I just think that is beautiful for a bride. Like, can you imagine that on a bride's lid with some browns, blacks, lashes? Give it to me. There it is. That is the shade Pretty Dust. Is that not beautiful? That looks so good with that lip color too. All right. Then I've been dying for this palette since they launched it. And I just have like, no, no, no. But then I was like, all right. Basically being a makeup artist means you just buy a bunch of makeup because you need it for your kit, duh. It's an excuse. <laughs> but I have been obsessed with cool tone shadows. This is a pretty cool palette. I have not got to try any of these kinds of palettes, but this is the newest. The palette itself is really cool. It's like, you can see my camera in there. It also came with the brush, which I thought was cool. And there's also a big mirror on here. So there are the, there's the brush. And then don't look at my nails, ew. Let me hide my eyes so it'll focus. There are the shades, all cool toned browns, which I love, love, love cool tones right now. And it came with this brush, which is so tiny. Like it's insane how tiny this is, but it's really cool because I don't have anything like this. Like I don't even know, this would be like a good like liner smudge brush because it's really dense, but it's fluffy. This would be a really good lip brush, honestly, but you could pack in like inner corner. How I, I mean, it's tiny. Like, I can't even explain how tiny this is. So anyways, that's what I got from Dose of Colors. I need to get to cleaning. Look how pretty this is. I cannot wait to put this on somebody's eyes. Holy cannoli. I want to get, I want to get more. That is unreal. Oh my God. It's so pretty. And the fact that it's a cream with the pigment on top means that's going to be really long wearing. Okay. Anywho, anywho, anywho. Why is, oh. I'll link all this stuff below, by the way, in case y'all wanted to go check it out. So definitely check the, the description below. But I'm, okay, I'm gonna get to cleaning. I gotta stop talking, y'all are distracting me. I'm known from the start, yeah. Feels like my body led me towards you. Now I'm seeing those stars. But it's like my heart isn't beating My heart isn't beating Do I have to tell you one more time? Can I make you read between those lines? I've got that thought on repeat I'm ready for love
So I'm almost finished mopping and um, I don't want to clean anymore. I just want to chill. I, I, I'm really not getting tired actually. I just want to like slow down for a second. Um, so I was just checking my emails like while I was sitting here waiting. What am I waiting on? I don't know. A boost of motivation again. I got an email from Dose of Colors that I got a 20% off code and I guess they sent it to me an email a few days ago but it says it expires tomorrow so I'm like yeah it definitely was meant to be for me to get a couple more of those shadows because look at my hand you guys. It's been rubbing against my sweater, um, the baby, all kinds of stuff and that shadow is still holding on strong which is amazing. Um, you can see like pretty much everything is there the way it was swatched just about. <laughs> It is four o'clock right now, so I got a lot of laundry to fold after I get this last bit mopped up. And yeah, I feel good that I like picked up. I kind of like reorganized this side of the kitchen a little bit. I want to get rid of this white thing that has a bunch of crap in it. I used to keep chips in it at the old house and I kind of just throw stuff in there to get it off the counter if I need it to stay on the counter so it's not out of sight, out of mind. What am I talking about anymore? What am I gonna make for dinner? Oh, I hate when it's up to me. I don't know what we have. I need to find my, let me go find my recipe book. Hold that thought. I have no idea what I did with my recipe book. I know where it used to be at the old house, but it's not in that thing anymore. So I have no idea where it is. So now back to square one. I have no idea what's for dinner. Does anybody else on the daily like clean up their husband's side of the sink? It's not clean yet, but I always clean up his side. You can have the rest of this. Every day I clean up Andy's side, but like I don't clean up. <laughs> it just stays like this on the daily, but I always pick up his side, not mine. Does anybody else do that or am I just super freaking weird? I know he's probably like, why do you keep cleaning up my side and yours is awful? I have been wearing makeup like every day. Obviously I told you yesterday was the first time I'd worn it in a long time. Like I think since maybe the Justin Timberlake concert or maybe a couple days after that when we went shopping one day. Anyway, so I've been doing my skincare. I've had two facials. I had an IPL photo facial, which like is like a laser facial, and it helps with hyperpigmentation, redness, rosacea, um, texture, and things like that. I've had one treatment. If you look really close, you can see all these dark spots. They like kind of feel like scabs, sort of, but those will flake off, and that's like the hyperpigmentation coming out. It's really crazy. I've been doing my skincare really, really good. And I want to mention something that I've been really liking. This is a eye cream. You know, I love eye creams. I have three or four in my drawer right now. Um, but this is the one I've been using at day, like daytime. It's by Saturday Skin, and it is the Wide Awake Brightening Eye Cream. This one's nice because it has that brightening, but it's just more like natural, easy to like go about your day without putting any makeup over it. It just like lights up your face, and I've just like really been liking it. Obviously, I don't know why I'm looking at it. Like, look, can you tell? I'm, not, I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing it, but under my makeup. Um, but I love the bottle. It's really cute, and then it has a little pump, so it's easy to control how much you're using. Sometimes I find with my jars for eye cream I like dip into them and I'm like well here I go with a lot more product than I wanted to use you know I've been loving this definitely check it out it does not burn my eyes at all I know a lot of people have that with eye creams but this one has not burned my eyes at all so I'll link this below where you can go pick it up been loving it this is the first product by Saturday skin that I've tried but I know a lot of people love their products so I definitely want to try some more so if you have anything you like by them let me know um, this is the box that it comes in. I have it sitting here because I have a hard time throwing away like boxes sometimes when they're really cute. I just want to like display them all. So you can take a screenshot of my, whoop. now you can take a screenshot of my screen if you wanted to go pick this up or I'll link it below where you can order it. Exclusive peptide formula pro skin's natural regeneration process. This ingredient does that. CHA7, CHA7. Um, so I'm gonna pick up this bathroom real quick. I've got the back doors open because it just feels so good It's like cool, but it's not cold if that makes any sense. Let's get back to cleaning Do I have to tell you one more time? Can I make you read between those lines? I've got that thought on repeat I'm ready for love If you want to know about my makeup 
get bag where I got it and what's inside of it for the most part, then I will link that video below because I did that in its own vlogmas video, uh, me putting all my makeup into this new bag. So I will link that below if you are interested.